Well, as of the latest U.S. drought monitor that came out today, moderate drought pretty much viewing area wide, but this data was taken on Tuesday. So there's a little bit of a lag and some of you have gotten some decent rainfall since Tuesday. Now today it's just a couple sprinkles, a couple light showers, especially in our eastern counties, but a lot of rain over the past 72 hours for part of the area, the area that didn't get it northwest. Greater Lafayette area, Northern Carroll County, a little pocket here in Western Warren County that didn't get much either. So the pockets that didn't get this kind of rainfall are in the moderate drought. But if you're down in parts of Montgomery County where you get two to four and a half inches of rain, you've obliterated the moderate drought up to two, two and a half inches Southern Fountain County and some heavy rains from east of Fowler to Battleground, Buck Creek and uh, east of Rossville last night and also two to three inches of rain here in parts of Cass and Miami County. It's not all of Cass, but parts of Cass County as well. So it just depends on where you go, whether it is muddy or it's still very dry and you need more rainfall. The issue tomorrow morning will be the areas of dense fog around. Keep that in mind. And then the low clouds and the fog disperse. We've got the sun out and it's a 77 degree high for tomorrow with 74 to 79 doing it viewing area wide. A little more fog into Saturday. This should say Saturday. I'll change that for the six high Saturday 79 to 84. Not quite as much fog Saturday morning, but there'll still be some that may be dense in places, low 50s, and look at that, it's low 80s in the afternoon with a lot of sunshine, 81 floor, 84 at Attica and Covington, 79 at Logansport. So there's the fog and the low clouds for tonight, and then it burns off with time tomorrow, just a few cumulus clouds in the afternoon, a little more fog tomorrow night. You can see in the gray color here, not quite as much as tonight, but still some around come Saturday morning and then perhaps even a little bit of fog on Sunday morning as well. And then the warm upper ridge completely dominates. This is a massive dome of temperatures that are well above normal come next week. You can see that completely dominating the eastern US, but eventually this cold front will come in. Now this is very deep tropical moisture. The question is, does this deep tropical moisture make it in here and give us a lot of rain Thursday night and Friday, or does it kind of stay south of our area? That remains to be seen, but certainly the potential of some showers and thunderstorms coming at the end of next week, and then it gets cooler. As a matter of fact, a week from this weekend, I think highs may only be in the low to mid 60s, and we dip way down into the 40s, 82. Saturday 83 on Sunday, mid 80s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even a few places getting to the upper 80s. Shower storms Thursday night into Friday and then near 70 next Saturday and highs only in the low to mid 60s next Sunday.